Bulls came down the tunnel earlier on, and now it's all about getting a win on their home court. Welcome, maybe the best day of the NBA, Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Cobb. Miller is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Rob Williams. And it's Vassell in a shooting guard. And for the Bulls, Scoot Henderson is out there with George. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Drother in at the three, the small forward. Well, here we are, Clark. This is game two of a back-to-back -back for these guys, so should we expect lower energy out there? I certainly am not counting on that. I mean, these guys are in tremendous physical condition. They can handle a quick turnaround. That's part of what they get paid to do. So the Lakers win the tip. And over to the sideline to hear about the latest benchmark in MP's storied career. Thanks, Kevin. With all the triple doubles MP's had, he's now in the top 10 in NBA history. MP told me that to put that many triple doubles up means he's working hard, and it encourages him to keep pushing every game. We'll see how high he can push when it's all over. Right. Fantastic. Wow. Tonight, MP is matched up against Scoot Henderson. These two are meeting for the first time this season. When you deal with Scoot Henderson, you're dealing with pure athleticism. You're not going to outclass Scoot, so you'll have to find other ways to gain an advantage. And there could be something of a feeling out process here, or maybe these teams feel confident in their preparation and are ready to just go at it. Chicago with the ball, following the miss by MP. It's Henderson on the wing. Out to the right wing, takes a three. Strother, no good. And so, MP will bring it up for Los Angeles. To the paint. Three-pointer. No good on that one. And here are the Bulls now. On the pass to Henderson. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. That one's in his first shot this game. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. Now, here's MP. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. Williams against Henderson. Pass to Strother. And here's Henderson, and stolen by Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, he almost has to foul. In Clark, for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league, along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Now, here's MP. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Zubats. For Chicago, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. On the wing, Jordan. Henderson against MP. Henderson, no good. Lakers trail by five. MP looking around. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to MP. Vanderbilt, a screen on Henderson. MP passes to Vanderbilt. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Spreading the wealth. MP just has a knack for doing that on and off the court. 
Chicago with the ball and this matchup with the Lakers it's their first meeting of the season and with this matchup being an East versus West affair it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams and you know there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents a lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with and right now let's watch that terrific SWAT tell you what early in the game these kinds of plays can really set the tone And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Shot clock at five. Screen by Zubac. Strother, no good. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm -up. Well, that, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. To the middle, tries again, and the layup is good. And six points from Scoot Henderson. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. MP inside. Henderson defending. Tom. Drops in the layup for two. MP. Inside, MP does a good job of just asserting himself, doing what needs to be done to get that finish. MP against Henderson. They set the screen. No good, and he's three of six from the floor. So the Bulls, their last game, a win against the Grizzlies. Cobb passes to Miller. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Free. Displaying those leadership qualities. MP helping another guy shine tonight. Henderson against MP. Henderson kicks to George. On the top of the key, Henderson with another miss. Boy, defense non-existent there, but they catch a break as he whiffs it. MP finds Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Kahn. On the wing, Miller. From the box 16, again, Los Angeles. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And that one's good, Strother. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now, here is Miller. Five points in the game. Back to MP. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Kahn. Shoots over Henderson. MP, no good. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Here's Henderson. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, nowhere near at their best uh, throughout the course of that game. A scrappy performance, but in the end, just not enough. Yeah, a lot of character on display, a lot of guts. You're right, even as shaky as they were, I would guess they felt they let one get away from them. And Cobb drops both of them. Already a very confident player, knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Henderson against MP. Here's Strother, covered by Miller. It's Henderson on the wing. For the three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. The Lakers moving the ball around. Miller outside. Williams a screen. Launches a three. Connects from three-point range. Miller's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Lakers. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. And now the first time I've called here for the Bulls. Here. 
Bowles checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Nick Daniels checked in. Bulls trail by six. Up top, Zubox. Pass to Strother. George with the ball. And the Bulls with another miss. Right, this Keontae George is explosive. And when he goes in the paint, he is like a wrecking ball. Very physical driver for a guard. Can be streaky, but boy, when he heats up, watch out. Passes it to Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. <laughs> That'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. No question about it. He's very comfortable in the air. Dunks like that, no problem for him. Now, here's MP. He has six. Now, here's Vanderbilt. He's guarded closer. MP, no good. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Back to Ball. Launches it. That one's in his first shot this game. You know, Ball, despite the quirkiness of the shot, he does have a quick release, so you got to know he's a threat to score whenever he has it in his hand. Brazil, the pass to Cobb. Williams, a screen on Ball. Cobb kicks to Vanderbilt. Inside, there's Williams. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Here's Ball. Rebound by Williams. Lakers leading by three. Now, Cobb. Back to McDaniel. Kicks to MP. Drives to the hoop. Now the dish to McDaniels. Just four to shoot. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Boy, he's really feeling it right now. Shooting a high percentage to start this game. And some changes here for the Lakers. Colocos checked in. And it's Jonathan Isaac in for Vanderbilt. And I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room Ball has to throw when you factor in how efficient he is already. The 15-footer, out of hand on it, and he gets it back. And stolen by MP. Wallace against George. And here's MP for three. Offensive rebound, Isaac outside. MP outside. Out to Wallace. A three ball. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Three points. MP's got his fourth assist in this one. Bulls trail by three. And here is Ball. Playing Memphis, he was nearly unstoppable. Outside, Williams lets it go from deep. The Lakers with the rebound. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Now, here's MP. He's got six. Isaac is screen on George. Wallace attacking. Here's the pass to Isaac. No good. Shot missing. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that. They're actually earning it well right now. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic to beat if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big time mistake. Now, here's MP. Pass to Coloco. Wallace looking for an opening. Pass to MP. Out to Wallace. 
Fires the three. And another three for the Lakers. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now, here's Zubats. Another guy who really kicked it up and out for his team in that Grizzlies game. Bucket is good. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Seventeen seconds left to play in the first. Pass to Coloco. He kicks to Cobb. Here he goes, and he banks in the layup. MP's got eight. MP's got so much strength and power, it's really hard to knock him off balance when he makes his line up to get to the basket. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Lakers lead by three. And we'll get going after this from United Center. Enjoying the game, both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And taking a look at Los Angeles's performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case? No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Scoot Henderson is out there with ball. Then it's Williams, and it's both in at the center position. That's the group for the Chicago Bulls to start the second quarter. Bulls will go for a different look here, and the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. The list of contenders for the three-point contest is really interesting this year. Every one of these guys is capable of going lights out in a setting like that. Yeah, the field is almost set, and I wouldn't want to have to make a prediction. Uh, these are all fantastic shooters. It's just a matter of who gets hot on that day. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And the excitement for this year's three-point contest keeps growing as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. Some amazing shooters in line to take part. Hard to pick a winner out of that group of contenders, but safe to say it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And there is no ground being given between he and MP. They both brought their A game and are refusing to be outshined by the other in this first meeting. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the 76ers played some superb basketball. He scored an amazing number of points, and the way he hit the glass and defended out there was impressive. He was locked in. One of the great performances I've seen in all my years, and I really mean that. Back to you guys. We see that David and stretches. He was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure, and draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Ball with a wide-open look. A three-pointer is right on target. Ball's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, you know, it's a quirky release. There's no denying that. But he's a reliable shooter and scorer from the perimeter. Lonzo Ball making it happen. And here's Miller outside. There's Williams. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And let's help them stake this lead. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. It doesn't matter where you're from, Greg, your background. You got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, 
when you get here, you know you've earned it. Daniels is checked in for the Lakers. George against Vassell. MP outside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Anzo Ball picks one up. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. They have capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage, very impressive. George passes to Zubats. Ball against MP. And Ball slams it in. Lonzo Ball, once he catches fire, he can heat up in a hurry. It's tough to throw him off his game. Ball against MP. Floats it up for Williams. Up high to stuff the alley -oop. So explosive around the basket. Williams, when the pass is on target, expect him to finish with the rim wrap. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls. They'll be off to Boston for a meeting with the Celtics after this one. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And good that time. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Nick Daniels with the ball. He has six. And the basket by Bazell. And the Lakers lead by eight. Now, I'm not shy about bringing it inside. Bazell is comfortable around the hoop. Outside, ball. Pass to Strother. Back to ball. from deep and again it's the Bulls from deep you know, he's got to be exasperated right now fellas I mean playing excellent ball but they're still losing Vassell against George Vassell the pass to Vanderbilt stolen away here's ball and three points in the game and the Bulls tack on two more. I love what he's done in this first half, at least so far. Increasing confidence every time down the floor. You can see it. MP against Ball. Cobb kicks to Vanderbilt. Williams standing the floor. MP finds Vassell. It's held in by Zubats. Zubats has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass the ball. Zubats a screen on Williams. Ball from long range. Vanderbilt with the rebound. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. The pass to Williams. George against Vassell. The train. It's all in by the Bulls. There's 138 left in the first half of basketball. Now, here's Ball. McDaniels defending. Here's the photo. Ball with the bucket. Now just a one-point Laker lead. LA has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. MP against Ball. Here's Cobb. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Anzo Ball picks one up. And what you appreciate about MP is how even keeled he is. He's someone his guys love playing with. Avion Mitchell's checked in for the Bulls. And the Lakers also making a switch. Wallace is checked in. Mitchell passes to Zubats. This one for three. Sinks the triple. Mitchell's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. George against Wallace. Now, here's Vassell. He's tightly guarded. 
And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Vassell's got five. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Pass to Strother. Tipped away. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Wallace. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Here's Strother. Last time out, he had 13 points. Zubats a screen on Vassell. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers ahead, leading by three. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Hey everybody, always a fascinating story. Our first order of business. Let's catch you up on some trades around the league. Speaking of big trades, how about we trade jobs and one of you steers the ship for a little while. I'll let you do all the research and ask all the questions and direct the traffic. Uh, okay, no thank you, Ernie. We won't be taking that trade. You're just too good at it. Yeah, we're very happy right here we are. Let's not mess up a good thing. Yeah, I suspected as much. And let's take a look back at the first half. The Bulls are in a close one. Their defense needs to pick up the slack. Those boys over there had missed some easy shots. This game wouldn't be this close. And it's not good enough to just defend the first and second option. You have to defend the whole clock. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. We're seeing a tremendous game from Lonzo Ball. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. So the Lakers five right now. We've got Williams. Cobb is out there with Devin Vassell. And it's Miller, and it's Vanderbilt into the power forward. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Miller kicks to MP. He can't get that one. Excellent defense there from Henderson. On the wing, George. Back to Henderson. Looking to get it going, and then Henderson with the jam. So just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leaders. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Pass to Zubats. Dishes to Henderson. Kept alive. And the dunk by Zubat. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. MP finds Miller. Good in the assist goes to MP for three. Cobb's got his seventh assist in the game. To the inside. Nice pass. Right under the rack. Perfectly for the layup. That's now eight points from Keontae George. Lakers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Vassell, the pass to Cobb. Miller outside. Back to MP. 
MP powers mm. through the contact inside. Look at MP finish through the contact. Kept his composure the entire time. For three, Henderson gets it to go from beyond the arc. Henderson's got five points in the quarter. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Miller, the pass to MP. Now, Vanderbilt. Here's the three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Oh, wow. Three. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Passes to Zubac. Henderson outside. Takes it off the glass. Henderson's got the game tied up here for the Bulls. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Miller surveying the floor. And there's the pass to Vassell. That's good. It's Miller with the assist. Vassell's got eight. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. George dishes to Henderson. Back to George. Six on the shot clock. Here's Zubats. Shoots over Vassell. Vassell grabs the board. Los Angeles leading by three. MP right side. Pass to Vassell. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Second personal foul. First team foul. Side, George shoots the three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high team offense should look like. Vanderbilt finds Williams. And they double up MP. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. Vassell, no good. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Henderson against MP. Here's Miller. It's all in by the Bulls. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that late. It's up a three. Henderson, no good. Lakers leading by three. Pass to Cobb. Now, here's Vanderbilt. Here's Vassell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Some nice ball movement here by the Bull. Henderson with it. Now defended by MP. Henderson, no good. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. Huh. Oh, get up, MP! Woo. Talent on full display for MP. This guy's putting on a clinic. Chicago's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Henderson outside. Pass to Strother. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Second Got a chance now to take a look at some numbers for MP. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Lonzo Ball, he's checked in for Henderson. The Lakers also with a sub. McDaniels, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. They host the Kings after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Miller, the pass to Williams. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
Such a physical, physical player. Williams has no off switch, he did, which is how he gets these calls. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thank you, Kevin. The Bulls lean in on their veteran core. Zach Levine said, you just got to be consistent every day and have championship habits. Each and every day, you've got to have a goal in mind and get to that mindset of, we're building for something. We've all sacrificed a little bit for the greater good. Kevin? And that's what we're talking about. That's what it takes. David, thanks. A three, and the three ball is good. Crawford's got 13. Good vision that time by ball. You leave somebody open around him, and he's going to get the ball to him. MP outside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Lonzo Ball picks one up. He's on six of six from the free throw line. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. Outside, Ball. No good on the three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. MP against Ball. Passes it to Vassell. Los Angeles with another miss. Bulls trail by four. Now the pass to Zubats. Here's Trother, covered by Miller. Right side, Ball. Zubats with the screen for Ball. Over MP. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got 29 in the game. Ball likes that pick and roll action now. He's excellent at running. He's got a lot of experience doing it. He knows when to pass it or when to take the shot himself. Miller, that's for two. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Outside, George. Dugonis, McDaniels defending from deep. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. Lakers leading by four. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft, Clark. Jaden McDaniels has more than outplayed his draft position. Yeah, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but you look at him now, hey, length, mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Ball against MP. Pass to McDaniels. Outside Williams. Pass to Vassell. There's Miller with the three. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for a three free throw. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last out. Matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the stripe. He was feeling it. Yeah, guys, I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Coloco's checked in, and Wallace subbed in for Vassell. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Floats one up. That one's good. The Laker lead has cut to just three points on the basket from Ball. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense for him until the defense makes him change plan. MP against Mitchell. Here's MP. They get it back. A shot by McDaniels. No good. 
And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. And it's ball in the corner. From deep, George. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Coloco's got six rebounds in the game. Feeds it to McDaniels. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. MP strong inside. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. And uh, 101 left in the third. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Miller. He's averaging 20 points, four assists, and four rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Scoot Henderson's checked in for George. Isaac's checked in for Los Angeles. Another shot, and Coloco gets it to go. And the Lakers lead by seven. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Here's Ball, good on the baseline, Jay. Ball's got six here in this quarter. Ball showing us a nice little mid-range game with his height and touch. He's got great confidence with the in-between game. Here's Coloco. MP kicks to Isaac. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Three. Cobb's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Now, MP. 24 points for him. McDaniels dishes to Wallace. From the arc. And he got that one up in time, but he doesn't go in. MP has been leading the charge for the Lakers. His performance that quarter has earned him a double-double. Seems like he's been everywhere in this game. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there. Bro. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Mitchell is out there with Williams. Then there's Lonzo Ball. Then it's Henderson. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Shots good by Miller. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Ball against Smart. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Good utilization of his height and speed to get to the line that time. Ball showing you he's got the savvy to draw contact. Lonzo Ball. Two shots. That's good from Ball. Ball hits them both. And here is Wallace. He dishes it to Miller. There's the pick. Down low. Out to Wallace. To the middle. Misses from short range. Bulls trail by eight. On the wing, Ball with the bucket. Ball's got 10 points here in the second half. Yeah, I like how Ball is undistracted by the defense in terms of where he wants to go with the ball. And that excellent vision of his, that's why he's so good. Pass to Coloco. To 
the paint. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Deciding to change it up. Be up on them. Let them breathe, all right? Lakers leading by nine. MP left side. Is it to Vassell? Williams sets a screen for Vassell. Pulls up. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Some nice ball movement here by the Bull. The pass to Henderson. Here's Zubats, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this. Back to MP. MP keeping MP. his balance right there. And you know what? He's shaking off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Now here's Henderson. Zubats the pass to Henderson. A second chance effort. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And He'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Vanderbilt's checked in for McDaniel. MP dazzling off the drive. Folks, this takes skill and timing. MP finds the opening and just takes it. At the top of the key, Henderson. Can't connect from short range. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Down. And just too quick with it. MP making a miss. Well, Chicago has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And the Bulls with another miss. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And the layup's good off the glass. MP's got eight here in the quarter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Pass to Strother. Henderson outside. From past the arc, drills it from outside. Henderson's got 10 points here in the second half. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. MP against Henderson, and they double up MP. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. And the foul called on MP. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Anderson looking it over. Shakes off the strong D and gets him the bucket for two. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. 
That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Chicago calls timeout. Reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. Now, Coach challenged him. He said, this goes beyond this game. Show me how much heart you have for the season. Fight for the final buzzer. Guys, back to you. Thanks, David. Able to get to the hoop with those nice handles, leading to an easy finish. Miller kicks to Williams. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Miller's got his sixth assist on the night. Oh, such a field shot there. The in the game. Two minutes. Anderson, no one around him. All good from outside. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Nice, aggressive play by MB. When you attack, you put so much pressure on the defense. First free throw is good. MP, two shots. And both free throws good for MP. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. MP against Henderson. They set the pick. 13 feet away. Henderson with another miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. MP passes to Vassell. The good-looking shot from the wing. Vassell's got 13 points in the second half. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Los Angeles. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooter. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And so checking out their season record, this game will become their 45th win. And looking at the trajectory of the Devin season, this is the first of two meetings on the year. So this will be a MP. solid win to go up 1-0 in the season series here against the Bulls. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well done. Miller with the ball. Inside, Vanderbilt. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Personal foul. Team is in the penalty. The first one falls. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Jared Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt hits them both. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mitchell finds ball. Outside Williams. Mitchell against MP. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for Chicago. Shooting two. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. Williams against Miller. And 
so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. The recent milestone of moving into the top 10 for career triple doubles, how do you think this achievement reflects your overall impact on the game? Mm, um, it's unreal. <laughs> it shows me that all those days I didn't want to train, didn't want to watch film, didn't want to practice, but pushed through and did it anyway, they were worth it. Ever since I came into the league, I've set pretty high goals for myself. Um, I wanted to be one of the best to ever play, not just in one aspect, but all around. Um, grabbing boards, diamond up teammates, scoring, um, anything and everything. Triple doubles have become a personal goal for me because they symbolize my desire to be great in all those different ways. And I'm not done. I want to keep pushing myself and keep chasing greatness in every facet of the game.